मल्टीपल स्क्लोरिस इज अ डिजीज इन विच दिन विच इज ऑन द नर्व गेट डीमाइलेटेड सो इन ए लेम इन टर्म्स इफ यू लुक एट द वायरिंग ऑफ द हाउस विच कंटेन्स ए प्लास्टिक कवरिंग एंड दैट प्लास्टिक कवरिंग इज लाइक माइलिन ऑन द नर्व ऑफ द एंटायर बॉडी एंड दिस माइलिन गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड बाई मल्टीपल मैकेनिज्म एंड दैट लीज टू डिजीज विच इज कॉल्ड मल्टीपल स्क्लोसिस one of the very common symptom is loss of vision or blurring of vision or or they may feel that one of the vision is not perfect which can be in the one eye or it can be in the both the eyes it can appear within few hours it can appear over days or weeks so if you have a vision difficulty you should consult a doctor you may have a presentation like hemiparesis like a jaisa ke hindi mein bolte hain ke lakwa ho gaya or what you call as a stroke you may have may have a hemiparesis you may have a spinal cord involvement that will lead to the weakness of the both the lower limbs or all the four limbs you if you have a blood uh, spinal cord involvement you may have associated blood involvement if you have a cerebellum which is a organ for the balance of the body then you may feel you are getting ataxic or you are losing your balance while walking so these are the common symptoms where which can present in multiple sclerosis quite some time very few of the patient may have a one episode and after that they recover with the drugs which may be partial or complete recovery and after that they may not have any of the other episode but quite majority of patient what we call as the relapsing remitting disease in which the symptom will come they after treatment they resolve completely or partially and after few weeks to months to years they may reappear so that's why it's called relapsing remitting other type of the patients are relapsing progressive so what happens when you have one symptom you have little deficit which is less left then you get a second episode the more deficit is left so it is adding on to it so this is called relapsing and progressing the baseline disease is progressing but you also have relapse there is also a type what we call it primary progressive ms primary progressive is from the day one when you start having symptom you don't get get like an attack so the symptoms are gradually progressive they need to modify their lifestyle they need to have a follow a healthy lifestyle when i say healthy lifestyle it means you should control your weight you should do regular exercise you should be cautious about your diet you should be cautious about your sleep you should be cautious about you stay healthy and happy when i say happy there is no medication for for happiness but you can make yourself in uh, your lifestyle you may modify that you remain happy you do your recreational activity your family environment your your environment in the, in, in the society sometimes fatigue is a very important symptom a large number of patient tell me that i feel fatigue and so for fatigue i would say the best treatment for fatigue is doing exercise the people who do regular exercise they do not feel much of a fatigue i always tell my patient don't be out of the way adventurous for example you may do long trekking or you may do long swimming or you may do uh, extraordinary exposure to temperature like heat or cold so the extremes of life you may avoid which will help you it is also important people who take baths with very hot water is also not considered as a good good uh, good thing so you may have a temp- bath with normal uh, temperature avoid extremes of uh, temperature especially hot because that sometime can worsen your symptom also it is important patient symptom may vary between winter and summer so when it is winter you need to have a adequate clothing so you especially patient who have spasticity they complain their spasticity is worsening in the winter so you need need to have a regular warm clothing which may be adequate which is adequate for you any age you may have a multiple sclerosis but adulthood is a common time second third fourth decade are the common time where people get multiple sclerosis and unfortunately that is the prime time of the life so sometimes it creates problem because they have to do if somebody who has a multiple sclerosis he must talk to the doctor about career counseling because some people have very mild symptom and for next 20 30 40 years they remain fine some of the patient may not be that lucky and the symptom may worsen so you have to do career counseling and find out what are what activity i will be able to do 10 years 20 years or 30 years from now